Meanwhile, the Wuhan virus has now spread to 25 different countries across four continents. There are 17,000 people who have been affected and more than 300 people have been killed. But the risk is nowhere near abating. This is the age of globalization. And China, with its Belt and Road Initiative, is connecting itself to the world. But at a time of a virus crisis such as the coronavirus, this boon actually becomes a bane. Now, China's Belt and Road Initiative aims to enhance regional connectivity. Around 70 participant nations are estimated to benefit from this, but they also stand in way of direct harm. With the connectivity increasing, the chances of the virus spreading are also pretty high. The workers from all the participant nations are working in China and with Chinese workers on this project. The chances of virus infections are pretty high, even though several nations have evacuated their citizens from China. These evacuees could act as infectants for others. The connectivity isn't always good, especially at a time when there is a wild outbreak as this one. Now, Pakistan is a major participant in the BRI through the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. And even though it hasn't evacuated its citizens yet, Pakistan seems to have realized the threat because of the CPEC. The Pakistan has stopped work on a few projects along the corridor. The economic projects have been halted in south of Punjab and 71 Chinese engineers are presently undergoing screening for the novel coronavirus. The work on the Orange Line metro train project in the city of Lahore has also been suspended. The Chinese workers have been asked to remain within their compounds. The Pakistani government has also con contacted the Chinese Consulate General in Lahore about the situation. But the Consulate General has also instructed all Chinese in Pakistan to stay indoors for the next two weeks.